Let's review the top wearable fall winter fashion trends 2022-2023 and the beauty of it you already have the items in your wardrobe so no need to spend money no more shopping let's jump straight into the video. Hi I'm Frederic and uh, we're going to talk about the first item which absolutely everybody is having it do you have a clue is the white tank just a plain white tank so actually you can wear it with skirt jeans leather pants everything and apparently it's better if it's come from prada because you have a little triangle on top but that we do not care about that everybody has a very nice tank white so easy to style by the way just to remember you this is for fall and winter i don't care i live in australia we're going from spring now so i'm really happy to wear that but for you you're going to suffer oh my the bomber jacket is back can you believe that i think the last time i was wearing one it was in the late 90s and i don't have it anymore but you still if you still have a bomber jacket at home it's time for a revival so this year they're all coming back in color in prints oversized sink queen embellishment or simply a black one which will probably will be my choice we see none in the last two years this big trend of corset or bustier I'm trying to say with English accent, but I can't because it's a French word. <laughs> so it's everything back to the West as well. If corset is not your cup of tea, you can also maybe amplify your belt. Belt up again. It's not new, but they're really back. And I'm not talking about the thin belt. I'm talking about the really thick belt that you can wear over a coat over a cardigan, over a shirt, over a skirt, over a dress, over uh, uh, everything. I saw actually a bustier over a shirt from Fendi and I'm going to say I really like the age of that. Let me know what you think. Okay, the other one, knitting. This is not new. You're going through winter. It's totally normal to wear something warm. Well, this season is quite special, by the way. So this time, it seems they come back with more texture, pattern, colors, almost like something your grandmother will knit it for you. Um, so if you still got your knit, you need it long dress cardigan anything monochrome more they are better it is so yes you can go for layering as well um yeah that's a very easy one everybody has some at home so this is the time to rock them i'm a bit funny on this one the maxi is coming back the maxi skirt which usually is a trend for summer so maxi dress maxi coat um, but when I'm saying maxi, I'm talking about like touching the floor and I don't understand because what happens if you live in a country when it's raining, big chances, and if it's snowing in winter time? I, I don't get this, this trend, I'm sorry. If you have, for example, a maxi black skirt for summertime, you know, and you wear like maybe like a pants or not, if no one will notice it. I'm just thinking about keep you warm this winter with a nice pair of boots a bomber jacket hey you know what why not but you need to know they are back in fashion okay the strong shoulders i'm not talking about just having a little bit of pads in your tailored jacket okay oh no no we talk about like crazy shoulders we've seen these trends on so with so many brands They're getting bigger and bigger making you look like a robot or like a box literally so if you really like this type of fashion my recommendation do not spend money on buying something like that special buy some pads shoulder pads double up in your existing jacket something has to be a bit oversized to have the room and here you go you are fashionable for this trend <laughs> leather i feel like every year i'm talking about leather is a fashion trend but it's not dying so any type of leather pants even legging skirts coats jacket etc is big big coming back um i also read on i don't remember if it was Harper bazaar or vogue they said the motorbike jacket is coming back and if you've seen if you watch my video when i do the 10 badass at look you will love it if you miss it i will link it below but i have a found a jacket on amazon for leather because i don't buy real leather a full leather jacket it was like 60 dollars amazing quality i am gonna rock this one for the spring personally absolutely love it so you're still in fashion 
do not throw away your motorbike jacket but again let i really believe it's always back in fashion you know so on the runaway i've seen a lot of leather dresses some I look really nice by the way asymmetric and it's like a bit of the matrix feel you know but it still look fantastic okay the number one tailoring but tailoring to the next level so this is one of my five because it's so easy to pair a black blazer with a black pair of pants if you don't have a set of a full tailor um, ensemble and then you can pair of course with a white tank and you're in fashion i mean we were dressing like that just going to a corporate job so this is gonna be very interesting time you know that so oversized blazer i still in fashion to my surprise actually but this new season for the fall and winter they're coming more like in block color so all of those um, yellow, hot pink, satin, velvet, a lot of texture, sink queen, oh la la, I love this one so, so much. In terms of colors, I'm so happy about this one. Black is back, but black to me is always fashionable, is always stylish, but we've seen a lot of black on the runaways. Also, the camel is still a strong color. Beautiful duo, by the way, black and camel, absolutely lovely. So if you you know the last few years being all about the neutrals one of my favorites so this is the smile i'm like i don't need to buy extra colors this is amazing um some if you really like some colors so hot pink is all about looking like a barbie girl i think i can make a full video about that is a special um some blue as well a lot of blues i've seen on the runaway and many again color block same as the tailoring such as orange if you're brave enough if you can wear orange go for it all right i got a quick one for the trend for the shoes yes of course i'm a shoe lover i cannot do this i cannot make a video about fashion trends we were talking about shoes so any shoes with a platform and a buckle will do the job so if you have something like that in your closet that's fantastic that's fantastic so anything with a platform give you a bit of height usually they have more like a bulky heel so it will it won't be the stiletto so it would give you more stability and probably a little bit more comfort i'm hoping <laughs> anything with a buckle very very hot this season something as well a bit new is the sports style such as one of my favorite apparently gucci did a collaboration with adidas and they relaunched the gazelle shoes i have one pair at home and i really really love them but I haven't worn them for a long time so if you like those type of sneakers but still a bit sporty but still not the shoes you're going to wear for running they're back in winter i've seen a lot of shoes and i'm hoping it was fake but with a lot of texture such as fur or kind of hair or kind of any animal fluffy thing not my cup of tea but at least you know and also they created the very expensive wellies i didn't know this world by the way until i've done my research we could just like gum boots in australia from Christian Dior, Chanel, Todd's, Chloe. So it's just like a gun boots with a little logo, you know, the double CC. And if you have a pair of and if you have a pair of gun boots like a <laughs> fantastic when it's raining for walking the dog, by the way, don't throw them away. They're back. And that to me is not the most beautiful pair of shoes you will like to wear, but somewhere it's so practical for winter and the rain and the snow. So it might doing it. It might be a bit slippery for the snow. I don't know. I haven't seen the snow in such a long time. <laughs> and then we go into the other side of craziness. There's a lot of shiny shoes, anything metallic gold silver but as well really they go way back to disco ball i've seen a lot of um high knee boots in pink in crazy colors i think it looks fantastic on the runaway i think straight wise it would be very hard to wear or, or to just to have like a super super confidence to wear those type of shoes in public i want to add as well apparently the new hit bag is starting already with the sum last this summer with the celebrities is the valentino garavini one stud in leather shoulder bag in average, I do believe it's almost 3,000 pounds at 6,000 Australian dollars, must be around the 4 or 5,000 US dollars. Please don't hold on that, uh, just double check. And I 
don't mind this bag apparently it's coming different size so now you know it's going to be the heat bag just check the girls on instagram i'm sure they're going to get it so i'm creating like a small category for this video called don't even think about it because the fashion trend that i really do not understand is the cheer so anything transparent and i'm not talking about a little bit of organza on your shoulders and you can do and if you hold your shirt is like that maybe you can wear a bodysuit or a singlet or something like nude but this is reminding you this is fall and winter supposing to be cold and miserable weather and suddenly you're showing your boobies when you go grocery shopping <laughs> you're just like why 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 this is not a material for winter this is like a big no-no for me if you've been following me for a long time you know it's one of the designer i do not understand i don't find that I just don't get him and guess what when I went away for pages and pages of web and I just found those shoes and I'm like oh my gosh I'm sure it's him so the designer that I don't like is Loewe and he's creating for are you ready I have to I have to do that he's creating for the fall and winter shoes open toe shoes with a red deflated balloon on the top <laughs> at least at least he always give me materials for my videos which is amazing maybe i should do a full video about this designer because i want to meet this guy i mean i yeah i, don't, I want to know what he's smoking because wow <laughs> Please tell me what is your favorite fashion trend and if you have something similar in your closet, would you wear it for this fall winter? To support my work, please give me a big thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to subscribe almost to 200k. Yay! I need your help, girls. I will also link here some videos for you to check for styling tips and fashion looks. Thank you so much for watching. I love you very much. You have an amazing day and go have a look right now in your wardrobe and check if you have some elements that I just named in this video. Don't forget, fashion is very personal. <laughs> See you to the next video. Ciao, ciao.